This is Anderson Penn's podcast episode 57 for Sunday, June 23rd, 2013. This is Brian. This is Lisa. This is the Anderson Penn's Radio Network. Happy first summer of Sunday of summer. I'm getting excited. <laughs> it's summer. Woo! Yeah, so yesterday was the first day of summer, longest day. That was exciting. Um, good weather, too, actually, so... It's hard to get excited about working when it's so gorgeous outside. Yeah, we just sat outside for most of the day. and Well, it's nice to be able to take the laptop out on the patio table, and I can still do QuickBooks and blog posts and all that. So I plan to spend a lot of time outside or in the pen room when it gets to be 95. Yeah, it's nice and cool in the pen room. Because so. we have no AC. <laughs> <laughs> so when it's 95 out, I'm either at Barnes & Noble or Panera or anywhere but here. <laughs> well, I think we need to expedite the uh, uh, the uh, the pen. The repair uh, work, room. Pen repair room now. Yep. Because that'll be in the basement, and that'll be cool too. So. Yeah, I'm excited. So I'm so glad I convinced you that you needed a whole room. That's yeah. Well. Uh, We'll That'll be the next project, and we'll talk about it. We'll have some before and after pictures, too. I think it'll be pretty oh, yeah. pretty impressive. So uh, in the news today, let's, uh, let's bring this up. Uh, yesterday morning, uh, we received word that uh, a long-time, long-time friend of the, the Penn community, Bert Heiserman, owner of Penhaven in uh, Maryland, uh, passed away. He you know, it, it wasn't unexpected. He'd been sick for a long time, but he's just one of those icons in the pen community. He's been around forever. He knew so much, and he was just such a sweetheart. And oh my God, what a flirt. <laughs> he, he was. He was a blast. And Alice, his wife, is the, the sweetest, funniest, nicest woman you could ever hope to meet. They were, they were just perfect together. Yeah, they're a real, real, real cute couple. Uh, I remember uh, quite well about two years ago having uh, in Columbus at the, at the show, <laughs> uh, having dessert before the auction. And uh, Bert was on a roll that night. Every, oh, my God. I mean, Telling joke after joke after joke. I wish I'd have written them down. It was so funny. I, I don't Some remember who else racy. was at the table. Yeah, we had we had a big table. We must have had uh, six eight people on the table, and we were yep. just just all laughing. And he just kept uh -huh. kept rolling them out. And Alice is, Alice has that cute little laugh. And, oh, she's adorable. Uh, it was just it was funny. So yeah, it was one of my one of my fond fond memories of, uh, of Bert. And you know, you'd see him you'd see him in Columbus. He'd be in that outer hallway next to the. Um, Next to the registration table. That's the registration table, yeah, yeah, and he'd always be there, and so. Yeah, well, we'll he. Miss him. He'd started to uh, have to miss a couple shows because he couldn't fly with his oxygen, and uh, he was still going to be facing a couple more surgeries. But uh, e even though it wasn't unexpected, I just, you know, you just he hung in there for so long. You just kept thinking, one more show, one more show. Yeah. And always so helpful and so willing to share his knowledge. He was just a true gentleman. And it was funny because he would be so respectful and, and so professional. And, man, did he know his stuff. But then all of a sudden these, these feisty, flirty little comments would come out. And it would just be, <laughs> you know, and Alice would be there just shaking her head like, oh, there he goes again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So. And they were they were a great couple together. I want us to be like that when we get that age. In yeah. yeah. So and I remember uh, in uh, DC last year he came up to us and he says, "Hey, I've got some Esther books I want you to look at." So I go over to his table, right? And it's just it's not just a cup; it's a bucket, a whole bucket. Yeah. I mean, actually, I think it was two buckets, two boxes. I mean, it was huge. It was ridiculous. I, I must have been gone for. 45 hour, minutes, yeah. yeah, looking through this stuff. So, I mean, yep. he was always, you know, always wanted to help you out. And yep. Be generous with uh, trying to steer you in the right direction or, or if he had something he was trying to get rid of that he knew you collected, you know, he, yeah. would, he would have somebody find you and, and 
Um, and he always looked so um, dapper. He'd always have like his vest on and always mm -hmm. dress pants and um, yeah. Or or a funky sweater. He had a, a, oh yeah, he did. Yeah, like some argyle really or something. Funky sweaters, yeah. yeah. So. Well, a lot of a lot of the pen guys, like Jimmy Dolev, always wears a sweater vest. Yeah. Lou Kaplan used to wear his. Um, what did he have a bow tie or a bowler hat? Richard Vaca wears his bowler hat. Right. So right. Everybody kind of has their little thing. But yeah, Bert had uh, funky pen fabric vests or um, sweaters. So. Yeah, he will be missed. I know that uh, the PCA had run an article about him about four or five years ago, and uh, I think I'll have Carla kind of update that, and, and we'll run something updated. We need to do something for Frankie as well. Yeah. So. Well, we put up uh, – Bruce Barge uh, was kind enough to, to send us the link, um, so we put that up on our on our Facebook page. Uh, of, I think I believe it was a 2008 article in the pennant. Yeah. Um, so that's up there if you want to check that out. And there's a picture of uh, Bert and Alice uh, at the yeah. end. And, um, so that's that's pretty cool. So check that yep. out. Devoted family guy. He and Alice were so excited about, uh, is it grandchildren or great-grandchildren? Oh, I would think great-grandchildren. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So it was it was awesome. And oh, man, Alice made the vests, apparently, Janet's saying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure they because uh, he and Lewis and uh, a couple of the others they would have either coordinating or matching vests, especially like at DC. Okay. So you know they'd be in the table, um, in the outer hallway in DC, and you'd you'd see all the Penhaven guys in their pen in their pen fabric vests. It was great. Sure, that that makes sense. That makes sense. No, yeah. So, so she's Very handy, cool. that Alice. Well, so you know, and apparent, yeah, and apparently nobody got the memo when I said the last time that people have to stop dying. So, <laughs> enough of this. <laughs> Too many, yeah, and and sadly, the knowledge that they had, you know, goes with them. Yeah. And um, yeah, mm -hmm. great, great guy. So. I know a lot of people in the area are uh, going to try and make the funeral. I wish we could go, but we just. Can't make it. It's too far. Yeah. But anyway, what else? Uh, moving on, I guess. Um, so we tried something a little. I tried something a little different yesterday. Uh, while you were gone, <laughs> running errands, <laughs> um, I decided to, to put a put a video camera on the on the bench, and uh, while I while I did some repairs. And, now, did uh, you have audio, or like, did people get to hear you swear? No, I don't. I don't no, come on. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. You know, and, and I'm certainly open to suggestions for anybody that that tuned in for a little, little bit. And I don't expect, and I don't anticipate anybody's going to hang in for the the entire duration. In fact, yesterday, I, uh, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it was weird because you were watching it for a while. I mean, you're in the other room for heaven's sakes. Um, What's your point? I don't know. Uh, but uh, in, in, I didn't even realize it was this long because there's no there's no counter or anything. So, and apparently it was over two hours long that I was repairing pens. There's a counter on my end when I see it. Yeah, when you see it, but I don't see it, so I had no idea if it had been an hour or what it had been. Good. I don't, that means I don't you just keep working, keep working. I like yeah. this. Uh, well, I got quite a bit done actually. So. Uh, that was good, but you know, I'm open to suggestions. I, I think maybe you know, might be of interest. I, I didn't turn the, the volume on because what I was concerned about is that, you know I've got the, the ultrasonic running, and the heat and, gun. you know I've got a heat gun running, and, and some of those things are off off to the uh, my right over here, um, you know, and, and they, they make noise, so that would disturb the, the audio. And sometimes you come in, or the kids are walking through, or what have you. And um, you're saying I'm noisy. No, but you, 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 <laughs> if I'm repairing pens, you might not, you know, not realize I'm on camera or whatever. So and sing to you. Um, and also, also, I don't have to worry about, you know, saying, okay, well, now I'm going to do this, you know. And I don't know if that's something that's of interest. Um, you know, the idea is to 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 put this out there, but not to, um, you know, I want to want to get those repairs done too. So 
Well, if it's going to be a, a repair tutorial, you would have you would set it up differently. If it's just yeah, that's different. Can, yeah. I'm sure that people are interested. I mean, I think it's fascinating to watch you take some of that stuff apart. Like, really, that's how that. Yeah, there, there were you know cool. we had we had some viewers all throughout. So um, you know, and people are checking in, checking out. You know, it's, you, you have all these things online these days. You have. Uh, uh, I mean, I have guys at work that that watch like the the bass cam or whatever, and they just they have it open on one screen, and they you know, you know, rainbow trout cam or eagle cam really? or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a, there's a, there's a guy at work uh, that sits sits uh, right across the, the the aisle from me who who has like bass cam, and he's got it there, and then every once in a while, you know, he's got it on. So is he watching people fish or is he watching just the water no he's watching the water and then there's like fish coming up to the camera <laughs> no way <laughs> seriously oh my god so i don't know that's anyway i am I'm, I'm open to suggestions uh, i know that um uh, the positioning of the camera was a little off and sometimes you couldn't see what my hands were doing sometimes that was because i'm i'm over to the side and i'm, I'm doing something on the heat gun i'm heating the part up but uh i know i need to move that camera and we're working on that and the, the uh possibly getting a new camera for that too so well, don't apologize. It was a first try. Well, you know, I know. I'm just tweaking it. Yeah, we're we're, we're working on it, and uh, we thought it. Was, I thought it was kind of fun. So, you know, I thought I, it was I, great. You got all those pens repaired. <laughs> I was thinking about doing a chat, but then if I do start doing chat, then uh, you know, I'm not. Then I'm not repairing pens, and that's the whole point. So, anyway, if you watched it, uh, and apparently 77 people watched it. Um, that was cool. Between yesterday and this morning, so or parts of it anyway. Um, but uh, if you have any feedback, feel free to, to send it to me. And, you know, cool. We'll go awesome. So. We, uh, we had a couple requests for a topic on ink. <laughs> and I'm not sure what you have planned. I'm afraid. Well, so what was it, two weeks ago, the FP Geeks had... Uh, the the topic for the show, and I think they had Sarge on, was uh, was goat pens. And then of course, uh, Aziza's got this goat impersonation that's seen you know, a second to none, uh, which I'm not going to do. Um, it goat stands for uh, greatest of all time. So I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, okay, so ink. Um, can we come up with an acronym, favorite inks? Oh, no. So I thought, well, what about favorite ink of all time? Fiat. <laughs> Isn't that a car? <laughs> That's a car. It's like a tiny little car, isn't it's it? It's a bad car is what it is. <laughs> is it better than the Corvair? No, Corvair is an awesome car. Oh, my God. Where's <laughs> Hugh? Hugh knows cars, man. Um... Uh, Fiat. So, I'm thinking no. No. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, I, I can. T I, I tell you. I tell you what. What is not my favorite ink? Um, so this last week, I decided I wanted to ink up this uh, this M600. Okay. That we got in uh, in Boston. Uh, nice pen. I really really like it. It's it's got a fine. It says it's got a fine nib, but it's really not a fine nib. What is it's, it? It's really more of a medium. Oh rats. <laughs> Really a nice, nice nib. So I decided, well, I'm, I'm going to put, I want to put Pelican ink in it. Okay, I love and Pelican ink. It's it's good ink. It, it's it's great ink. It, it flows well. Um, very safe for your pen. And so we have this this mason jar <laughs> full of four thousand and one turquoise that sits in the kitchen. I don't know why it's in the kitchen. Because I just never moved it. I mean, shouldn't it be in the pen room or in your it office should. or something? I don't it know. should. So well, I said, okay, well, well, we'll we'll try that. And, I have that uh, in there. You do okay. Oh, actually, actually, you yelled at me. You called me stupid. I think it's how it went. <laughs> <laughs> you said, "You dummy." I have that in my Twisby bottle upstairs. Go and fill it out of there. Don't try right. to fill it out of the mason bottle. So I go. Well, yeah, because a mason jar is just silly. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> you don't like the mason jar? No, 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 no. You don't the, like the, the color. Ink? The color. I mean, the ink, the ink is fine. It's just okay. that the color is a little. It's too bright. Oh, it's too girly. <laughs> You're saying the ink is too girly for you? <laughs> well, it's, well, it's 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 mm -hmm. brighter than what I'm used to. Step out of your comfort zone, big boy. 
hey, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna flush it. I've been <laughs> using it. Um, it's just I don't, I don't normally write with inks that bright. And most of the the shades I use are dark, so it was. Uh, um, I like it. I think it's a pretty color. Okay, good. I you may you may have more in your Twisby bottle by the end of the day. <laughs> I just I, it's not. Uh, I wanted to use a Pelican ink, and uh, I guess now that I have, I can move on. Um, well, what about the brown? The brown is a gorgeous color. Well, I, I may have to do that. I mean, I, I just I just changed. Or the royal the, blue. That sounds good. I just changed the water in my ultrasonic so I can I can clean it out. Use a little bit of. Uh, it's so lame. JB's pen flush and. and it's not like it's tourmaline pink. Well, no. I mean, I wouldn't even consider putting that in my pen, but. Because it's not manly enough. It's okay. It's not manly enough. I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Manly inks. Does that go on part of the review? It's too girly for most men. I think oh, it's a gorgeous no. turquoise. It, it is. It's a lovely color. It's just not something I want to <laughs> use. It's not something I want. I, I don't want to say it's a bad color. It flows well. It's it's very nice. It's just it's not. It's not you know, in your top three favorite three. inks. So colors. let's moving right along. Um, uh -huh. So what are your top? favorite inks? Well, why don't you why don't you tell me what your top three are? You want to do top three? Sure. Uh, top three, Parker Penman Sapphire. Hello. No, hang on, hang on, hang on. Top three means you have to use the ink. What? <laughs> <laughs> I have used, I think I have it in one of my pens. I name, hoard that name stuff. Name one pen that you have Par Parker Penman Sapphire in. <laughs> I've got it in here somewhere. Yeah, I bet you do. I hoard it. <laughs> I hoard it because eventually I will have them all. Oh no, I think Sarge has got you beat on that. All right, well. All right, all right Sarge so, and I will have them all. All right, so sh show me one pen that you have it in. Oh, I gotta find it. <laughs> I'm busy so, now. I'm, I'm busy doing now. the. All right. All right, so, so okay, Parker, Parker Pen and Sapphire. Sapphire. All right. Hmm. And Emerald because that's really pretty too, and the Mocha is really pretty. So Parker Penman in general. <laughs> Uh, any pretty much anything by Jay Herbin. Okay, uh, now, not, now you're up to like thirty inks <laughs> in the top three. Uh, I like the uh, the sapphire. I like uh, this one right here. Yeah, I like that one. I like the uh, Lier Sauvage, the green. Okay. Uh, what I like about it is it washes out. Easily out of clothing and um, tan carpet in my office. Is that what you spilled on the carpet? That is. Was that about two uh, years ago? Yeah, and it came out like a dream. Yeah, we had it. Uh, that was even before we didn't even use Amidex on that. No, no, it just water. It came right out. Took a little bit of work, you know, white cloth, water, blot it, et cetera. Let it, let it blot for a while, but yeah. Yeah, so I love that uh, J. Herbin Inc. Um, will wash out and not leave a stain because uh, we spend so much time with ink um, I just can't I, I can't have all my clothes covered in ink um, what else do I like a lot alright so number three you got Penman Penman woo Zirbon yep get back to me on the third one <laughs> come back to me <laughs> alright think about it Ah, uh, let's see. Number one. Okay. Okay. So now, now I can I can do like whole color families now because you just no. said you, what do you mean? No, you pick like thirty inks for your second and favorite. Well, inks. that's me. <laughs> you go. Um, I like Aurora Black. Call me boring. I love Aurora Black. Boring. All right. It's All right, a good deep okay. black. It's got good flow. What black do you use? I don't use black. Black's boring. <laughs> I need color in my life. Everybody needs black. Okay? Everybody at some point has to have a black ink. I like Schaefer black. <laughs> Aurora black is a is a great color. That's it fine. is. It's, it's, just, it's a very it's a very good black. It's a very it's uh, no, that's why I like it. It's it's not boring. I think it's boring. Um Aurora black and and if if, if I can do the, the Lisa thing here, I'm just gonna lump in Aurora as number one. Okay. I started Aurora to Blue use, is awesome. I started to use Aurora Blue because actually we, we ran out of uh, Zirbon and Clotosphere, and we had a couple of uh, damaged 
uh, bottles of uh, Aurora Blue, yep. and I started using one, and man, is that a beautiful color. It's a purpley blue. It's really pretty. Yeah, it's a little brighter than, than I normally did than uh, Ottoman Azure or Clotus Saphir, but... Uh, but that one's not too girly. No, it's not girly at all. No. All right. Just trying to understand the girly factor there. Um... So yeah, I would put those number one and number two. I use them all the time. Uh, okay. I use Aurora, Aurora Black for testing, you know, all pen repairs. Um, so I know, you know, okay. if it works with Aurora Black, it's good. Um, some people use Waterman for that, but uh, mm -hmm. I use Aurora Black. Uh, number two, number two spot, uh, probably without a doubt, uh, Mont Blanc Bordeaux. Yep, you love your Bordeaux. Which, uh, I believe I only have two bottles left. <laughs> One in the original original box, but uh, I have two bottles of those left, and um, there it's really hard to find. So, and then the, the new original, color is not yeah. yeah the original the, the burgundy is not the same. Mm -hmm. It's a nice color, but it's not the same as the Bordeaux. So okay, um, so I, I guess in some way I'm hoarding that as well. All right. Just like so I'm not the only hoarder in the family. No, you're not the only hoarder. Uh, number three. I'm, I don't know. Uh, I got mine. You got your number three. Okay, you, you, uh, let me know. Hit, hit me. Hit me with it. Ackerman. <laughs> I love my Ackerman green, and I like the Ackerman brown. I Part hope of it so. Is the bottle. <laughs> I hope you like it. <laughs> I like it a lot, but part of it is the bottle. It's it's where is it? It's up there. Hang on. Let me just grab one for you. Why don't you do that? I will. Um. Ta -da. And I went to reasonable lengths to acquire these bottles for you. So big lengths. But the beautiful part is you get a huge bottle, and it's got this ball up in the cap, and it floats down, and then the ball comes right up here in the neck and then it it captures the ink up above. Yeah, it's a great it's a great bottle. Interesting, interesting thing. Um, and I didn't know this until yesterday. Oh. Um, I saw a vintage ad and there's another company that made a very very similar bottle. Do you know who oh. that is? No. French. Herbin? There's actually I, the, I actually saw it on Facebook yesterday. Waterman. Okay. Really? Well, we should yeah. get that. Um, I don't know how. I've never seen one in person, but I saw an ad and I looked at it. I thought it was Ackerman. And sure enough, it was uh, GIF uh, Waterman. So. Very cool. We'll have to get uh, some of those. Yeah, like it's a great, great bottle. That, that green yep. is a real nice color. Yep. Um, I like it too. All but right, that, so what's your third? No oh, crud. Um... I'm looking around on my desk. All I have on my desk are blue, 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 and black. I want to have blue. I have Parker blue on my desk. I'm not sure why that's here. Blue, black. Oh, number three. You like Ottoman Azure? Yeah. I mean, that's another blue. That's true. How about a green or a red? You know, I, I have, um, I do have Pink. Noodler's Forest Green. Okay. In uh, in in two pens, I think, um, and and it's a lovely color. Awesome. Um, so I, I guess I'll, I'll go with that for now. Um, and I don't. The only other green I've actually ever used is Omas green, which I thought was a bit on the bright side. So you're just um, into dark. Yeah, I like. I, like I, I mean, you know, I'm too bright and flashy. I'm, no, I'm, I'm boring, I guess. But uh, I would go with conservative and not flashy. Conservative. Yeah. There we go. Just a couple of minutes ago, you said I was boring. I said black was boring. <laughs> yeah, but it's the best black, admit it. It is a great black. That and, and Schaefer black is really good. Oh, you like Schaefer black? I, I mean, if you, like, if you like gray, I think Schaefer black's a great ink. <laughs> Moving on. It washes, it washes out. It's very light. It does. It's not, I'm, so... Well, you know, I need that. I'm super clumsy. I'm constantly knocking stuff over, spilling it on myself. Just, just, it's not good. So, anyway, uh, what else you got for me? <laughs> I don't want to have much. How about this is, this cartridges? A... Do you use cartridges? I, I do. I do use cartridges only from a, 
a consumption standpoint. Uh, and what I mean by that is yeah, every well, every, every new pen you get, practically, comes with a converter. If it's a cartridge converter, it comes with a converter and a cartridge. Right. So, for example, um, uh, this morning as I'm cleaning off my desk, uh, I, I discovered uh, amongst underneath the pile of, of pen stuff here uh, a Levenger box for my uh, Levenger 25th anniversary. Christmas present? Uh, yeah, this is a Christmas present. Uh, actually, this is the second one because the first one right. we had to send we had to send back. Yep. Uh, and this is this is really a cool pen. It's it's got a it's metal like, dark gray. It's got a chasing pattern on it. Looks like a Parker. Uh, it does resemble. And I don't know if I've shown these two before. Uh, this one here is a Parker IM, so it's got yep. a very similar type of pattern on it. Yep. Um, but uh, I. If, if if there's a cartridge, I'll use the cartridge. I mean, I you know, I'll throw it in there. I'll use that up first, and then I move on to the uh, the converter. But I don't, as a general rule, I don't really, except for uh, say a Kaweco Sport, where there's mm -hmm. no converter option or no good converter option. Hmm. Uh, I don't really don't don't do cartridges. Plus, it's a landfill thing. I mean, it is absolutely. But it's also a, a convenience thing, so I usually have a couple international cartridges in my purse or in my tote just in case. So, don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> I reuse them. It's okay. It's not that bad. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll refill them if I have to. Yeah, but, uh, absolutely. That's what syringes are for. Yeah, and I have one of those here, too. I'm sure you do. Plenty of, plenty of junk on my desk. All right. So, oh. speaking of getting junk off your desk, uh, anything new uh, on the website? Uh, you know, I don't have it handy. We do. Um, uh, later today, there will be. We have the new uh, field notes night sky. Really pretty. Which is cool because on the back cover it has a map of the constellations, and I think each one has a different the set of three has a different um, different map on the back. So that's cool. Um, those will be up uh, this afternoon and um, for this afternoon this evening. Yep. Um, so, and actually, I believe uh, as, as I'm checking them out, um, Field Notes has already sold out of them. So Good you can't get them. From, you can't get them from Field Notes anymore. Awesome. Uh, the subscription basis is already sold out. So. Cool. Um, but. Uh, no, they're that cool. and uh, is there something else that's going up today? I don't remember. You told me. You told me I was. You told me earlier I was putting something else up that I didn't remember. I don't remember. I know that uh, we've got some new repair supplies and some other accessories that are arriving this week, but they haven't arrived yet. So we'll save that for next week. Yeah, we'll save it till they get here. Um, um. Don't know. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> It's been it's been a busy week. We you know we're finally just getting back in the. When did we get back from Boston? Monday night. Oh well, yeah. no wonder. Yeah, yeah I mean we had, we had a podcast from... on Wednesday, so it's only been like three. I'm days. so confused. Yeah. So. Now we've got a bunch of stuff that uh, will be coming in, coming up. Um, you know, just ordered a ginormous restock from Diamine, so you know several hundred bottles coming in. I didn't tell you about that, did I? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice to know. <laughs> so, uh, starting to get restocked from uh, all the shows and, and uh, tons of web sales. So, working on all that and uh, some cool writing accessories coming up. I'm kind of excited. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, so we'll try to get. Oh, we'll, that's we'll, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so just uh, bear with us. Awesome. Uh, you got some uh, shout outs? I do have some shout outs. Uh, number one, Thomas. Oh my God. We are having a blast with the snail mail. And uh, I'm going to start to reciprocate. I'm going to write you back. Uh, I love the, um, the one card with all the different colors on it. We had a blast with that one. Yeah, so he, he, he's doing a real good job of uh, letting you know what's. Uh, oh, yeah. What ink no. and I love it when people tell us when they write in, they, they write in uh, what ink they used. And I love to see all the different colors and how they look using different pens and different paper. And uh, 
Thomas went above and beyond, especially with one one email that one mail that he sent us. Well, he must have a quite a large collection of. Uh, I think they were all Lammies. safaris. Lammy yep. safaris that he wrote yep. in. And it was I know. Just... I need more. <laughs> so, well, we'll order more this week. Uh, let's see. A big, big, big hello to Hugh and Carol. Uh, Hugh, dude, just stop it. You're killing me, buddy. Brian was like half in tears, half drooling over the pictures you sent. So, wow. That's all I have to say. So, yeah, DC. <laughs> um. <laughs> I think the boys are going to go uh, off on their own little tangent. Carol and I will go to the bar and have a drink, and you boys can go uh, play with the uh, the object in the pictures. Because, wow. <laughs> Holy cow. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. Uh, yeah. Big shout out to uh, Janet and David. Um, Janet gave me a really good report on uh, how she used the Amodex swipes. Um, and so it was nice to hear that they worked as well for her as they did for me. I think it's a cool, cool product. So I'm excited. You know, I've got a, I've got a whiteboard at work that um, suffers from... Ghosting? Uh, ghosting, yeah. In fact, you, you can write it on one second, wipe it off the next, it doesn't come off. So there's yeah. something wrong with it. Whoops. Yeah. I could I could let you take one to work. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to check it out, and um, I wish I could bring the whiteboard home, but uh, I'd like to. <laughs> I, <laughs> well, we'll have a whiteboard uh, next week, hopefully. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. But uh, I'd like to be able to, this one especially. I'd like to see if it could tackle this. I mean, there's obviously something wrong with the whiteboard, but. Uh, or the pen that somebody used. I mean, I think it's great that Amadex. No, I use. I, I have I have a new whiteboard up. Oh. And then I, I, if I use it on my my new whiteboard, I can wipe it off just fine. If I write it on the other one, it just goes. So hmm. interesting. I'd like, to, like to try it up and maybe get a little video of it or something. There you go. So. Uh, and also uh, a big shout out to Martin. Thanks for the email. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Find some time to uh, to reply back. Um, hope you're doing better. And I guess that's about it since we just did this on Wednesday. Yeah, keep it short and sweet. Uh, yep. It's getting, Go out and getting, enjoy the weather. Getting warm in here. So. It's because you're thinking about your black ink. <laughs> All right. Um, comments, uh, suggestions for topics. I uh, appreciate anything uh, as far as the repair thing, too. Uh, use your pens. Write to us at Anderson Pens, P.O. Box 732, Appleton, Wisconsin, 54912. You can catch us online by sending us an email. Uh, Brian at AndersonPens.net. Uh, Lisa at AndersonPens.net. You can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash AndersonPens. We're on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash AndersonPens. Our blog is at blog.AndersonPens.net. And the website, in case you hadn't figured it out, AndersonPens.net. Join our mailing list for advanced notice of upcoming events or pre-orders. Thanks for listening to our podcast. We will see you next week. Bye.